10 tips to get more done in a day. Imagine what you could accomplish if you reclaim just a fraction of the time you spend waiting in lines. Welcome to Don't Do This Guide, where we turn wasted moments into productivity gold. Today we're diving into a topic I'm sure you can relate to. How to get more things done in a day. If you're tired of feeling like there aren't enough hours in the day, you've come to the right place. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find any value in these tips. Your support means the world to us. Have you ever jumped into a project without a clear direction, only to find yourself overwhelmed and unsure of where to start? It's like setting off on a road trip without a map. Starting your day with a plan is like creating a roadmap for your productivity. Even a simple to-do list can work wonders. Writing down your tasks the night before or first thing in the morning allows you to visualize your day and prioritize what needs to get done. Think of it this way. Your mind is like a web browser with multiple tabs open. When you have too many tabs open, your browser slows down and it becomes difficult to focus on any one thing. Planning is like closing those unnecessary tabs, freeing up mental space to concentrate on the task at hand. A plan provides clarity and direction, eliminating that feeling of overwhelm that can often lead to procrastination. When you know what you need to do and in what order, it's easier to stay focused and motivated throughout the day. Remember, a plan isn't about rigidly sticking to a schedule, it's about creating a framework for your day, a guide to keep you on track and ensure you're making progress towards your goals. Now that you have a plan, it's time to prioritize. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, yet some people seem to accomplish so much more. The secret? They understand that not all tasks are created equal. Prioritizing your tasks means identifying the most important items on your to-do list, the ones that will have the biggest impact on your goals, and tackling those first. One effective method for prioritizing is the Eisenhower Matrix, also known as the Urgent Important Matrix. By categorizing your tasks this way, you can quickly identify which ones require your immediate attention and which ones can be delegated, scheduled for later, or even eliminated altogether. Focus on the tasks that fall into the important and urgent quadrant first, then move on to the important but not urgent quadrant. Have you ever looked at a large daunting task and felt a wave of procrastination wash over you? It's easy to feel overwhelmed when faced with a project that seems insurmountable. Breaking down large tasks into smaller, more manageable steps is like climbing a mountain one step at a time. Instead of focusing on the overwhelming height of the summit, you concentrate on the next step in front of you. This approach makes the task seem less daunting and more achievable. As you check off each step, you'll gain a sense of accomplishment and momentum propelling you forward. By breaking them down, you not only make them less overwhelming, but also gain a clearer understanding of the steps involved, leading to a more efficient and effective workflow. Chapter 4 Set time limits. Do you ever find yourself getting bogged down in a task? Setting time limits for your tasks is like creating boundaries for your productivity. It's about making a particular task and sticking to it. One popular minutes uninterrupted, followed by a five-minute break. Chapter 5. Eliminate Distractions. In today's hyper-connected world, distractions are everywhere, from social media notifications to emails to the lure of a quick internet browse. It's easier than ever to get sidetracked and lose focus. That's why eliminating distractions is crucial for maximizing your productivity. Start by identifying your biggest distractions. Are you constantly checking your phone? Do you get sucked into the rabbit hole of social media? Once you've identified your distractions, you can start implementing strategies to eliminate them. This might involve turning off notifications on your phone, 
using website blockers to prevent yourself from accessing distracting websites, or finding a quiet workspace where you can concentrate without interruptions. Remember, the goal is to create an environment that minimizes distractions and maximizes your ability to focus. It's about being mindful of the things that pull you away from your work and taking proactive steps to minimize their impact on your day. Chapter 6. Batch Similar Tasks Have you ever noticed how much time and energy it takes to switch between different types of tasks throughout the day? It's like constantly shifting gears in a car. It takes time and effort to get up to speed each time. Batching is a productivity technique that involves grouping similar tasks together and completing them in one dedicated block of time. This minimizes context switching, reduces mental fatigue, and allows you to get into a flow state more easily. Wash all the dishes at once, then move on to baking the cake, and finally sit down and focus solely on writing the report. This approach allows you to fully immerse yourself in each task without the mental clutter of thinking about other unrelated activities. You'll be surprised at how much more you can accomplish when you're not constantly switching gears. Chapter 7. Use Tools and Technology In today's digital age, we have access to a wealth of tools and technology that can help us streamline our workflows, stay organized, and boost our productivity. From project management apps to note-taking software to time-tracking tools, there's a digital solution for almost every productivity challenge. Think of these tools as digital assistants, helping you stay on top of your tasks, manage your time effectively, and keep track of your progress. One popular category of productivity tools is task management apps. These apps allow you to create digital to-do lists, set deadlines, assign tasks to others, and track your progress. Some popular options include Todoist, Asana, Trello, and Monday.com. The key is to find tools that fit your workflow and that you'll actually use consistently. Chapter 8. Take care of your health. When it comes to productivity, we often focus on external factors like time management techniques and productivity hacks. However, we often overlook one of the most crucial elements, our health. Think of your body and mind as a high-performance machine. Start by prioritizing sleep. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Next, pay attention to your diet. Fuel your body with nutritious foods that provide sustained energy throughout the day. Avoid processed foods, sugary drinks, and excessive caffeine, as these can lead to energy crashes and hinder productivity. Finally, incorporate regular exercise into your routine. Exercise has been shown to improve cognitive function, boost mood and reduce stress, all of which can contribute to increased productivity. Remember, taking care of your health is not a luxury, it's an investment in your productivity. Chapter 9. Learn to say no. In a world that constantly demands our time and attention, it's easy to fall into the trap of overcommitment. Learning to say no is not about being selfish or unhelpful. It's about setting healthy boundaries and protecting your time and energy. It's about recognizing that you can't do everything and that it's okay to decline requests that don't align with your goals or values. Think of your time and energy as valuable. Making a withdrawal from those resources. If you're constantly saying yes without replenishing those resources, you'll eventually experience burnout, overwhelm, and decreased productivity. Remember, every time you say no to something that's not essential, you're saying yes to something that is. Chapter 10. Reflect and adjust. Productivity is not a destination, it's a journey. It's an ongoing process of experimentation, reflection and adjustment. What works for one person may not work for another, and what works for you today may not work for you tomorrow. That's why it's crucial to regularly reflect on your productivity systems and make adjustments as needed. Start by scheduling regular reflection time in your calendar. This could be a weekly review, a monthly check-in, or even a quick daily reflection at the end of your workday. During your reflection time, ask yourself questions like, what went well this week? What could have gone better? Are there any areas where I'm consistently struggling? Are there any new tools or techniques I want to try? Remember, productivity is not about being perfect. It's about constantly striving to improve and finding what works best for you. And there you have it. 
10 powerful tips to help you get more things done in a day. Remember, it's not about doing more, it's about doing what matters most. It's about being intentional with your time and energy and creating a life that aligns with your values and goals. Implement these strategies and you'll be amazed at how much more productive you become. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Don't Do This Guide for more tips and tricks on living your best life. See you in the next video.